Are you confused about what career path to choose? Is it easier to learn front-end compared to back-end development? But what about the pay? Which one pays more? And since you're in the middle of your choices, you must have also come across full-stack development. If full-stack is a combination of both front-end and back-end, does that mean it pays more and has a better career choice? Hi, I'm Ritwik, and today we are going to decode these burning questions for you. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear choice of which path you want to take and grow your career in software development. And before we begin, be sure to hit that bell icon after subscribing so you can stay tuned to the career guidance we are creating for you in this video series. Let's start by understanding what each of these roles mean. When you log into your Netflix profile, what do you see? A list of shows and movies. And when you click on the down arrow for more information, you get a glimpse of the show or the movie. You see a trailer, you can read one to two lines of description about it, what genre it falls in, and information about the cast, and so on. And if you have already started watching a movie, you can resume right where you left. Have you ever thought where Netflix gets all this information from? Where does it store all this data? And how does Netflix keep a track of what you're watching? Let's understand this by comparing it with the three different roles, front-end, back-end, and full stack. The list of shows and movies, their trailers and all that information you saw about the show or a movie on the screen is what basically front end is all about. And how Netflix stored and retrieved the information behind the scene is what back end is about. You can be someone who specializes in building either the front end or the back end of an application. And if you want to get involved in building both aspects of the software, you can explore full stack development. Each role is exciting in its own way. So you have to understand that none is superior or inferior to the other. Front end and back end are specialist roles. So you go deeper into your area of expertise. Full stack role is slightly slightly broader. So you tend to pick up both front-end and back-end skills, but not at the same depth as a specialist. To help you choose your role, let's look at a few factors you can consider before making your final decision. If you're enjoying watching this video so far, do let us know by smashing that like button. And which role seems exciting to you so far? Let us know in the comment section and let's see how you can double down on that decision. Now that you know what each term means and what each role entails, it's time to choose what kind of software developer you want to be. Although this decision depends on your own ideas and opinions, here are a few aspects you can consider before making your final decision. Not many think about this, but it is definitely an important factor to consider the size of the company you are planning to join. Larger companies hire specialists like front-end developer or back-end developer, whereas small to medium-sized companies hire both specialists and generalists. There's another dimension to a company, which is project size. Larger companies might sometimes hire full-stack developers in smaller teams for working on experimental features and prototypes. Also, large IT service companies look for full stack developers as they can work on a client project end to end. So you can keep this in mind when you're picking a role and applying for jobs. The next thing to consider is your interest. Do you love to build UI? Do you have a keen eye for design, usability, and aesthetics? Then you may like front-end development. If you like working on problems related to scaling, implementing business logic, and performance optimization, etc., then you should consider back-end development. If you want to explore both parts before you choose anyone to specialize in, full stack is a great option for you. Your next question may be how quickly can I learn these skills and land a job? Front-end skills are relatively easier to pick up and get a job. So if you are from a non-technical background, we would recommend you to get started with front-end role, back-end and full-stack role. Both require you to have a bit more breadth across operating systems, networks, and databases. Also, the typical interview processes for both these roles involves a bit more DSA compared to front-end roles. Hope by now you have a fair idea of which field you want to pick. You must be wondering about the salary potential in each of these roles. Honestly, since you're just starting out in software industry, don't optimize your role based on your pay alone. You will be able to get good high paying jobs in all three roles. Instead, focus on getting into the right company and working with the right team and mentor to guide you in your job. Remember this, you can never go wrong in choosing a specific role when you start your career. If you're proactive with your decisions, you can guide your career in the right direction. You can either start as a generalist and specialize at a later point or start as a specialist and generalize at a later point in your career. Both ways work and it depends on how you want to grow your career. So even if you start as a full stack engineer, you will most likely specialize in front end or back end as you grow in your career. In other words, you will never be a 50% front-end and a 50% back-end developer. Similarly, if you start as a front-end or back-end developer, you will be picking up a bit of the other skill and it will come in handy as you grow further in your career. If you found this video helpful in choosing your career path, let us know by liking the video. If you're still confused, let us know about your background a bit and your question in the comments. We'll get back to guide you. That brings us to the end of another video in the Decoded Careers in Tech series. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more practical tips and actionable insights to take your career to new heights.